for the Redneck Garage. Well, we're continuing on working on the safety cap rail for the frame. And we got all the parts off yesterday, if you watched that video. And we're going to be grinding off the sides and getting ready to uh, weld this baby in there after we do a little bit of rust treatment. I'm also going to clean out the frame uh, going forward. There's just so much silt and junk where they did a repair before. They just put a flat bar on there where there was no drainage. And you can see that all the rust and dirt and everything else just built up on top of that. And it actually made the situation worse on their original repair. We got the rails coming in for that too. So I'm excited to get that stuff done. Uh, Marty and Byron just left and we're making plans to go tour the Rough Country factory. I'm going to get with my friend Mitch Pope over at Rough Country. And here in just a little bit we're going to be doing a factory tour hopefully. And uh, we're going to see if Mitch will let us take a little video of that. Because Rough Country has been really good to me as far as helping me out with parts and... Uh, stuff like that. Mitch, you're awesome. We're hoping we can come see you here soon. So let's get started on getting that frame repaired. Man, this is nasty. Um, what I'm going to try to do is just shoot some water up in here and see how much I can flush out of uh, some of this crap that's in this frame before I go ahead and put it back together. You can see when they welded this frame up, they put a big flat plate going across here with no drain holes. Um, so it was a quick fix, and it certainly wouldn't last. So we're going to be cutting this part out and putting another rail, safety cap rail, on this portion, just like we did the rest of it. When I said that the frames rust themselves from the inside out, you can really clearly see all this crap came from inside the frame when I cut that piece off and then in this front section here it just all fell out of there and this isn't on the outside this is all internal rust um, basically what's left of your frame so I'm trying to clean up the driveway a little bit um, before we weld on this other cap but it's pretty good and clean I can see the uh, frame up through there and it is some rough rough stuff let me tell you so I'm glad that we're going to be replacing this rail going forward also uh, it's just going to be uh, you got to take, drop down your transfer case and then go forward from there. What up? Randy's here! Yeah! What do you think? Looks good. Looks good? Yeah. You think that looks good? I'm a master of understatement. It looks like if you were a dentist, you'd be going, mm, that, that's a root canal right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the next thing that we've got to do is to really get this cleaned off, grind it all off, get all the rust off of it um, in preparation for welding. I did have to cut this piece up just a little bit more per the instructions of the kit. It says the minimum you should come up to about here with it cut off and that's probably so it can have enough room to come up. But let me start cleaning that off. See if we can get that um, squeaky clean. I got it test fitted on with some clamps and I actually had to cut a little bit further up the frame to give it enough clamps to go all the way up to the top of the edge. So you do need to make sure you get that last inch to give it enough room to clamp over it. Right? And I'm flush here at the bottom and I'm flush over here at this back side and I've got it clamped down into um, the piece here itself. Now. The only thing left is to measure, make sure I've lined it up here with uh, with my square rule, but I'm also going to measure from the body mounts just to make sure that we're in the right spot before we start welding, because that would kind of suck is uh, if we didn't have it all lined up, right? Okay, so let me do that real quick. <laughs> Yeah. 
All right, so I need to move these clamps around a little bit, but <clears throat> I'm going to have to get up in there to uh, weld the other backside a little bit. But she's tacked in there real well, and I'm just going to continue welding, and then we'll take a look at it when I'm done. Awesome! Here's where we're at. I've been welding on this thing for probably about an hour, and it's starting to look really good. I've got, whoo, man, that's warm. Uh, I've got some more welding to do on it, but um, the frame piece looks really, really good, uh, and I am really happy with that. Where it doesn't line up, where there's a gap here, I'll probably just put a little piece of metal and weld that in. Um, it's not really that critical, but it will keep water from coming out. But there's a little gap in there so you can move it back and forth. And uh, it's turned out really nice. Now, the depressing part is i got to do the other side. <laughs> so anyway, that looks really super awesome. Well, you can tell that we made a lot of progress today, and I was really super happy that we've got the safety cap rail installed on the uh, shackle. Uh, I've got some more welding to do, some more welding and grinding. This is one that you don't want to skip or skimp on the welding. You want to make sure that you get everything welded, grind it down, weld some more if you need to, because that is a critical component of your frame. Um, it supports the back end of the Jeep and the axle, everything, all that crap. So you want to make sure that you get that rel welded in really, really well. And uh, it is very substantial and solid, and I'm really happy with it. Uh, so we're going to be moving on. As soon as I get the other rails, we're going to do the front, and this side will be complete. How crazy is that? Uh, pretty soon I'm going to be taking the rear end apart and we're going to be doing rear brakes because I just need to do something different than this nasty uh, uh, grinding and welding. <laughs> anyway, we're going to keep on moving with the uh, with the frame repairs, the rear end, and uh, hopefully the motor is going to be done soon. So I'm going to start picking up and cleaning up before it gets darker out here. I'm David from the Redneck Garage. Keep turning wrenches.